Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have a Chameleon, J. Jonah Jameson, and a Hammerhead figure here. Um, and this is a pretty old wave. It's a Rhino build a figure one. I'm trying to finish Rhino. All I need is, I believe, the right arm and the left leg. I already have Spear Venom. He's, I believe he's the one with the leg. But I didn't get the piece with it, I just bought it separately. Um, but I was able to get, uh, like Craven and Chameleon for a cheaper price than they are on, like, Amazon and Walmart and all those other places. They got it for eBay, and I saved, like, about 50 bucks, so that's awesome. Thank you for that person that sent me this. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get this guy. So, here's the front for you. You get that old Marvel Legends logo there. You get the Spider-Man logo here. You get that picture of Spider-Man there. Here's the back. We've seen this before from the Craven figure box that we uh, last. So if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here's all the figures in the wave. I already have Scarlet Spider. I have Superior Venom, but I just need a piece with it. I have her, forgot her name. Uh, and then White Tiger, both, they both have the same torso piece. Um, and then I have Craven. I need Ghost Rider. And then here's Chameleon. Uh, and then on the other side, you get that same Spider-Man picture. On the top, you get that Spider-Man logo. On the bottom, you get the nothing much uh, besides the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Chameleon out of the packaging here. So let's go over his accessories. So first, he has Rhino's left arm here. But we'll go over that after I finish the figure on getting the pieces that I need. Um, and then here you get JJ's head sculpt here. You get that nice gray sides there uh he has blue eyes nice you get that mustache he looks like he's yelling um but yeah oh uh, he looks a little cockeyed but it's not that bad so yeah it's not as bad as uh craven's co uh, eyes so that's good um and then you get hammerhead you get that flat head there um you get the blue eyes there too he looks pretty serious uh, but yeah, and you see that they probably missed a few spots for the paint there, but it's not going to bother me a whole bunch. But yeah, like I said, old wave. So obviously there's, there's going to be a little wearing probably. Um, these boxes have not been open in a while. So, and then you get this little pistol here, which we've seen before, I believe. Um, I don't remember which figures have these, but yeah pretty cool you get that gray throughout the pistol here so yeah i mean this we've never seen before i think this is pretty cool you get this weird looking machine gun ray gun whatever you want to call it and what's cool about this which marvel legends never do is this where the mag comes out and you get to some of the bullets popping out there you get that little slot there and just pop it right back in so i think that's cool and you get more of that red detailing there so I like this a lot. This one's pretty cool. And then you get this little uh, machine gun, which we've seen with the uh, World War II cap. Uh, with this, I think. I think this might be a little bit different. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, you get some of the grips with the brown. And for the uh, stock, same brown. Besides that, it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's all we got for accessories there. Uh, and then here's the chameleon head sculpt here. So yeah, you get some of that blue little wash throughout the figure, like to give it depth. But besides that, the rest of it is white. You get that yellow looking teeth, I guess. So yeah, no nose looking like Voldemort. Um, then you get, yeah, he, uh, chameleon, someone that you can disguise, disguise as someone else with a mask, basically. That's why it looks like that. Um, but yeah, we've seen, we've gotten this sculpt for the body before. It's from, uh, Nick Fury and Tony Stark, uh, what is it? 10th anniversary, I believe. So yeah, we've seen this sculpt for the suit before. Just different coloring. So yeah, you get some of that navy blue throughout the suit there. You get the blue tie, black shirt, same blue through the pants, black shoes, and yeah. Kind of reminds me of Professor X a little bit, actually. Um, but besides that, that's all we got for the um, 
the sculpt and look there. So let's go over his uh, articulation. So his head can hinge down that far, up that far. That's actually really good. You get him to go left and right. Uh, no head pivoting. His shoulders can move out just not even to 90 degrees actually, but it's a suit. You won't be able to move that much anyways. You get 360 rotation around there. Um, you got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows there. So you can uh, touch his bicep there. His wrists can hinge down that far, not a lot, up that far, 360 rotation around there. Um, he has a ab crunch, so you can go forward that far. Backwards, like zero because the suit restricts it. You got waist swivel, 360 rotation around there. His legs kick, kick out that far forward just actually at 90 degrees so that's really good uh backwards just a little bit you got a thigh cut you got double jointed knees uh his ankles can hinge down that far i like how it goes past the pant there uh up just a little bit uh no shin cut like the logan figure does uh, and then you get nice ankle pivot. Uh, kind of. It's a little stiff there, but yeah, it will pivot. You get it to go inside a little bit. And here's the figure with the hammerhead sculpt there. And here's the figure with the JJ sculpt there. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool figure. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is find some of the body sculpts with the dress dressed up look for the figures. And just add the head sculpts to those. So that way I just get JJ figure and then a hammerhead figure and then a chameleon figure. Now I had them add them to my villain shelf. Um, but I'm just going to find something that's different. I think the chameleon figure works better with this or the uh, hammerhead one. I think the JJ one would work a lot better with the Tony Stark um, body because uh, it's black and white. That's what JJ wears. Um... But with this one, it kind of gives it that little gangster look, I guess. Um, like what Hammerhead is. And then Chameleon that disguises that everyone else that works out. But I think I like I like this figure a lot. Uh, that, I like how he gives us a bunch of head sculpts. You get different options. I like the this gun here. I like that a lot. It's really cool. Uh, especially with that mag there. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got.